Perhaps the most important function of a cardinal is to vote for a new pope when the reigning pontiff dies or resigns. The task of electing a new pope falls exclusively to cardinals under 80 years old, an age limit set in place by Pope Paul VI. But there are a number of less known facts about these so-called princes of the church, collectively known as the College of Cardinals. In 1179, papal elections for the first time were restricted to cardinals. At the time, this included clergy who had been incardinated or transferred into a position different than their original one. The Pope personally chooses who to make a cardinal. Man must be a priest to become a cardinal. Any appointee who is not a bishop must first be consecrated a bishop, but the Pope can make exceptions to this requirement. For a long time, the College of Cardinals consisted of between 20 and 30 members. Then in the 16th century, the limit was set at 70. Pope John XXIII broke this limit, and today the number of cardinals in the college surpasses 200. At an ordinary consistory, which is the ceremony for the creation of new cardinals, the Pope places the characteristic red beretta on the cardinal's head and reminds him of what the scarlet symbolizes. La disponibilità di un porporato a dare il proprio sangue, significata dal colore rosso dall'abito, è sicura quando è radicata in questa coscienza di aver ricevuto compassione e nella capacità di avere compassione. There are three orders of cardinals, deacons, priests, and bishops. The only practical difference between them today is seen when protocol calls for a cardinal of a specific order to complete a designated task. In the past, cardinal deacons oversaw social services and charity work in Rome, cardinal priests ran the parishes, and cardinal bishops were in charge of the seven dioceses surrounding Rome. Today, some cardinals are in charge of the Roman Curia's different departments, like the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith or the Congregation for the Causes of Saints. Others are archbishops in charge of major dioceses. Cardinals are considered the Pope's closest advisors. They are the ones who elect the Pope. And traditionally, it is also the cardinals who are the primary candidates when the time comes to vote for a new pontiff.